good morning to all uh, today uh, we are going to discuss on this particular topic the topic here uh, in your unit 1 cobol is editing uh, so this is going to be uh, one of the important topic uh, because based on this particular topic um, where uh, uh, all the data names or the data values will get processed uh, so the data values uh, whatever that you are going to give to a data name will get processed based on this editing characters so we have some various editing characters based on this editing characters whatever uh, the data val values that you are going to give to a data name uh, will get processed so we have some numerous editing characters so some of the editing characters like uh, z for zero suppression and b for uh, blank spaces and then dollar symbol and then um, cr and uh, db cr for credit and db for uh, uh, debit uh, and then comma symbol um, so similarly you have some various editing characters so each and every editing characters uh, is important to us and then how those editing characters it used to work while processing uh, those data values uh, that seems to be an important thing here so normally uh, while developing an application um, so to those applications we used to create a format for the output so what is the output format that we are going to create and how that we are going to um, produce the output uh, at the end user screen at the console screen okay so that will be formatted using this editing option so this is going to be uh, one of the important topic in your cobol programming language and then we have some logics as how we have to make use of those editing characters um, and that will be discussed in the upcoming uh, uh, slides um, so it's very simple so you will have uh, uh, three things here you will have a data name and to those data name we are going to assign some value and to those data name we are going to create some picture class so this particular topic which used to work based on picture class okay so to the picture class whatever the editing character that you have used and whatever the um, format that you have given using those editing character the same uh, thing will be uh, applied while producing the output for that particular uh, data name so if people know very well data name means uh, name which is used to store some value okay but while declaring those data name in working storage section or using picture class we used to give some formats as what are the data it should uh, it, it should process and what is the format of data it should produce so those things will be described using picture class so here picture class is very very important because using picture class only we are going to give a proper uh, uh, format as how the output should be uh, uh, produced so um, uh, you, the picture class uh, our usage of picture class is very very uh, important thing over here so we have some uh, three parts uh, the first one which is about uh, the picture class and second one which is about uh, uh, the value before editing and the third one which is about value after editing so in all those editing characters so we have numerous editing characters uh, that we have in this presentation so for each and every editing characters um, we have some three uh, columns structure the first one is about what is the picture class that you're going to use so using the picture class only we used to give the structure or format of output that your program or that particular data name should produce in the console screen and then the second column which is about what is the value that you're going to give to that picture class so that's about before editing so before editing what is the value that your data name holds and then the third column which is about after editing so after editing what is the result it's going to produce okay so you have a uh, picture class to this picture class you're going to give some values and after uh, supplying the value to the picture class it used to format the data and it used to produce some output um, the output which is going to be the edited value okay um, so these are the things about uh, um, editing and then the next slide ma okay roll number 14 is present i have not i have noted that ma roll number 14 roll number 10 also present okay so the absentees are 
roll number 4 and then roll number 15 okay we have two absentees today roll number 4 and roll number 15 okay so uh, these are things about aims and objectives uh, so whatever may be the topic for each and every topic you will have some aims and objectives um, so here uh, in this lesson uh, so you people will be uh, learning about editing characters and then uh, how you are going to edit uh, values using those editing characters how you are going to edit the values so these things you people are going to uh, learn and then um, the objective here is uh, you people know what are the various editing characters that we have so we have some numerous editing characters uh, for editing um, uh, the value so what are those editing characters that we have and their importance and how we have to use it okay um so uh, so before editing uh, what is the thing that we have and after editing what is the result it, it is going to produce uh, so those things we are going to study uh, out of this particular uh, topic okay the next slide so this is going to be the definition for editing um so editing which is normally performed by uh, moving a numeric uh, data item to a field containing special editing characters in its picture class okay um so uh, here we are going to actually move a value so here which has been mentioned as uh, moving a numeric data item instead i am referring it as what we are going to move a value to a picture class okay so the picture class which consists of some editing characters so based on the editing character it have um after moving the value it used to edit those value and then it used to produce the output so before editing what is the value that we have and after editing what is the value that we have that is going to be the important thing that we used to focus on this editing so editing which consists of numerous editing characters uh, so these editing characters which is been used uh, with your picture class so to this picture class we are going to move some value um, and after moving the value this picture class using editing characters it used to format the value and after formatting it used to produce the results so based on the editing character that you have used in the picture class it is going to format the input uh, value uh, the data value that you're going to pass so the data value whatever that you're going to pass to a data name which is being uh, referred here as numeric data item and then field is nothing but whatever the data name that we have uh, those data name which is being referred here as field okay uh, and then uh, where we used to have editing characters in picture class we used to have editing characters okay um, so that's the thing uh, that we have over here um, so generally we are going to perform editing to the data value whatever that we are going to use in your program so to a program you are going to pass some value and which is being edited using some editing characters okay uh, next slide So this is going to be uh, edit characters for numeric data item. So depends upon the data item that you are going to use. You have some various editing characters. So these are some of the editing characters which is being used for uh, numeric data item. Um, so these are the following characters which is used in the picture class to indicate editing. Um, so the characters like Z, Z which stands for zero suppression and then we have asterisk and then you have dollar and then you have minus and then you have uh, plus and then you have cr and db and then dot which is an character editing character and comma which is an editing character and then capital b which stands for blank space which is an editing character and then uh, zero which is an editing character and then slash which is an editing character so each and everything here which is a separate editing character okay uh, Z which is a separate one, asterisk which is a separate one, dollar which is a separate one, minus which is a separate editing character and plus which is a separate editing character, CR which stands for credit which is a separate editing character and then DB uh, which is an, which stands for debit which is a separate editing character and then to denote uh, the decimal places we are using the dot. So to denote some decimal places within your value whatever that you are going to process we used to use the dot and then comma suppose if you have to include the comma uh, with the output that you have to use the comma option and then you will have uh, blank spaces for that we used to use b capital b and then suppose we have to include zeros either at the 
uh, starting part of your value or at the ending part of the value uh, we used to use uh, that capital b um, and then our zero at the uh, trailing and then ending part of your value and then flashes so wherever suppose if you are going to print the dates and then the date must be separated as uh, day and then month and then year so there we used to use those slashes okay so these are some of the editing characters that we have related to a uh, numeric uh, data item uh, and then these characters uh, could be used uh, with your picture class for editing purposes so whenever that you're going to use these characters along with your picture class declarations which indicates you are using those editing characters okay um, so the first editing character that we are going to discuss here is zero suppression we used to call this particular character as zero suppression so is it capital z which stands for zero suppression um, so the edit character z uh, which is used to suppress the leading zeros in the numeric data item um, the leading zeros are replaced with uh, blanks okay and then z character has uh, no effect of trailing zeros so uh, though you are going to have use z character at the end of your data item um, so there won't be any effect in the uh, trailing zeros um, and then you have some various examples as how you have to use zero suppression um, so um, so using these examples you could understand uh, the use of uh, is it uh, in editing characters and then the character b is used to indicate a space character so small b which is used to indicate a uh, space character and um, uh, which is used to indicate uh, and then dot which is used to indicate the position of decimal point um, then And then the next one, uh, which is about, uh, okay. So the purpose of Z is very, very important here. The purpose of Z, which is a uh, uh, very, very important thing over here. So it, which has been used to what? Uh, suppress the leading zeros, okay. Um, so suppose if you are going to have a value, the value is going to be one, two, three, okay. And then before this one, two, three, Suppose we are going to have some zeros. For example, double zero, one, two, three. Now this is going to be the value. Now, uh, what is the zeros, leading zeros that we have? We have double zeros in front of one, two, three. So this particular double zero will be suppressed, okay, uh, using this zero suppression. So using this Z as a character, the leading zeros will be suppressed. And then, um, though you're going to have uh, uh, the trailing zeros, the trailing zeros uh, uh, will not be considered uh, by using this Z character. Okay. Um, then the next slide. Okay. So this is going to be simple example. So with this example, you could get some clear idea as how they have used. Uh, so the first column, which is about picture class. Okay. The first column we used to call it as an picture field or a picture class okay picture field and then second column which denotes um, before editing so what is the value that you're going to pass before editing and then the last column which is about uh, after editing okay um, the first example here uh, the first example here is what we have double z and triple nine so this is going to be the first example that we have over here double z and triple nine and then the value that you're going to pass to this is what zero one two three four so this is the value that you're going to pass um, so soon after uh, uh, using this zero suppression the zero will be suppressed and instead of zero that will be replaced with blank spaces okay see here we have two is it so the first z zero will be moved and to the second is it one will be moved and to to the nine the first nine two will be moved and to the second nine three will be moved and to the fourth nine uh, to the uh, la third nine the four will be moved okay so total of how many positions that we have we have five positions in picture field and also we have uh, five positions uh, in the value that you're going to pass to the picture field okay but after editing the leading zero will be changed to blank space 
using the first is it okay so you have to be very clear suppose you have leading zeros that alone will get uh, suppressed by z character so instead of zeros suppose if you are going to have some other value it won't be considered for zero suppression so it is, it is going to suppress only leading zero alone okay so this is very very important uh, students so it is going to um, we are going to concentrate on that leading zeros alone your zero suppression character which used to suppress the leading zeros and instead of uh, zero it used to convert into what the blank spaces so instead of zero uh, we are going to get what the blank space so after using zero suppression character first z that will suppress this leading zero and it will convert into the blank space okay this is going to be the first example and then second example uh, you have a double z and then triple nine and then value that we are going to pass is triple zero five two and then now uh, we have uh, two z two z first and then triple nine so how many values that you're going to pass we have five positions triple zero and then five two so the first zero move to z first z and then second zero which moves to second is it and then the third zero which moves to nine and then the value five which moves to uh, the second nine and then two which moves to uh, what the third nine okay so you have two z characters uh, zero suppression characters in the picture field now the two leading zeros in your example the values that you have triple zero five two the two leading zeros will be suppressed by two blank spaces okay so it's very simple so it is a zero suppression which is used to uh, suppress the leading zeros and instead of leading zeros it used to convert those leading zeros into what blank spaces okay and then uh, the third zero uh, which corresponds to what first nine so it will be uh, printed as such and then now the results will be like this uh, double blank spaces and zero uh, five two this is going to be uh, the results that we have over here and then the third example you have what double z and then triple nine this is going to be the third example that we have and then uh, you have some uh, what uh, the first of you like uh, uh, symbol uh, between one and six okay you have some arrow mark like symbol you have uh, you have between one and six um, those uh, like greater than symbol okay so you have that which you don't dot actually that particular symbol like upper arrow symbol which uh, which used to upper arrow tip arrow like symbol which used to denote the dot decimal places here so now we're going to pass what 1.68 to double z and triple nine okay and then here um, we don't have any leading zeros over here um, so but the result that you're going to get here is what two blank spaces because for each and every z which has been replaced with what two blank spaces and then uh, instead of two nine which has been replaced with double zeros and then the last nine which has been replaced with what one so here the value after the dot which has not been considered for editing so here 1.68 we are going to consider the one alone and next to the dot we have two positions 68 which is not been considered at all the reason here is because in editing characters we are not using any uh, dot over that just we are going to use some two is it and triple nine so here the values that we have next to the dot 68 which is not been considered at all so the first instead of two uh, is it first which has been replaced with two blank spaces and then the third nine the first nine which has been replaced with zero and then the second nine which has been replaced with zero and then uh, the last nine which has been replaced with one okay so here we are going to consider the value one alone uh, but here the input is what 1.68 okay um, and then the next example which is going to be about uh, triple z and then v double nine so now the v in this picture class which represents uh, decimal place okay the capital v in the picture class triple z v double nine the v which represents what no decimal places now we are going to pass the value 0 0.65 0 0.65 to this um, picture class uh, so here 
after passing this value to this triple z and uh, v double nine and now it's going to produce the results as triple b and then you will have uh, 65 triple b and 65 okay um so uh, prior to the dot you will have what zeros so that particular zero will be considered uh, considered as a leading zero so instead of first three uh, first three triple z first three z which has been replaced with triple b okay and then you have v uh, capital v um, uh, so uh, so that will be replaced with the dot and then next to the dot you will have what double nine so the six goes to one nine and five goes to another nine um, so we have triple b and then 65 and then here uh, this particular zero will be replaced by blank spaces so to the uh, left of zero we doesn't have any value in 0 0.65 though we doesn't have any uh, value uh, we have to replace the empty value with blank spaces okay so the zero suppression which is going to act like though you're going to uh, have leading zeros and though you're going to doesn't have any leading zeros suppose if you have leading zeros it will get suppressed suppressed okay suppose if it doesn't have any leading zeros while using decimal places that will be automatic automatically converted to what um, converted to uh, blank spaces uh, over here okay so uh, this will be uh, for uh, decimal places uh, based uh, picture classes alone uh, it will be working like this okay um, so that's the thing and then so this is the example for 0 0.65 and then the next example which is going to be about uh, 4z so you have 4z and then you have v and then you have double z and then the input that you're going to give here is what 0 0.65 um, so um, so based on the v only we used to compare so the v goes to dot the v which is equivalent to dot over here so in the input value you have at 0 0.65 um, so the output that you are going to get to over here 0 0.05 here the input is going to be 0 0.05 the output that you are going to get here is what uh, first we have four blank spaces so four is it which is being replaced with four blank spaces and then the leading zeros between uh, uh, the leading zeros that we have uh, to the left of a dot which has been replaced with a blank space okay and then next to that uh, you have uh, what you have zeros um, the trailing zeros which is uh, which won't be suppressed here so next to the dot you have uh, what is it and then you will have what uh, zero which is not being uh, suppressed instead the zero will be printed as such and then the 5 will be printed as such so suppose uh, we have leading zeros that alone will get sup uh, suppressed suppose if it's going to be in trailing zero so uh, we could consider like this uh, the zeros to the left of dot which is going to be in leading zero and the zero to the right of the dot which seems to be an uh, trailing zeros so the trailing zeros will not be suppressed the leading zeros alone will get suppressed okay and then the last example uh, you have uh, 4z v double z and then you, we are passing value just zero alone and after this all those uh, um, characters that we have six six characters that we have all those things will be replaced by blank spaces okay because it doesn't have any value for uh, those positions so all those six is that which has been replaced with uh, six base over here okay so this is going to be uh, the example or how we have to use the zero suppression and then uh, students you have to keep in mind that um, this couldn't be um, get practiced or this couldn't be um, give some clear ideas uh, at the first class itself uh, you have to work out repetitively okay you have to compare and you have to work out repetitively for each and uh, every picture class that you have you have to pass some different values and then you have to check it out what is the corresponding output that it is uh, that it is producing uh, so you have to work out on these things picture class and the input values uh, based on it we have to check whether it is producing some appropriate output or not 
so out of these examples we could get some um, ideas on how is it it used to work okay so normally here along with is it we are using uh, what uh, 9 and then capital V so along with is it in the picture class we have used just two or two more editing character as 9 and then V uh, suppose you are going to pass any value to 9 yeah, that will be printed as such okay and then suppose you have decimal places in your input that will be compared uh, with uh, the capital V present in your picture class okay the capital V which refers to the decimal places are the dot in your uh, value okay uh, so this is going to be important thing here um, now uh, we have example now the first example is what double set and triple nine I, I am passing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then we are getting uh, B, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is going to be the output. Um, suppose, um, now, uh, to the first example, double Z and triple 9. Okay. I am going to give the value. Uh, the value is going to be uh, double 0 and then 2, 3, 4. Okay. Uh, so, what is going to be the results? Uh, dear students, this is my question. Um, so the question I will pose the question in the chat box now. So the question is going to be: uh, We have double Z, and then what? We have triple nine. To this, I am going to give uh, the input value. The input value is going to be double zero, and then two three four. Okay, and then what is going to be uh, the output? Okay. So this is going to be the question. Uh, so, so whatever may be the thing that you know, whatever may be the answers that you know uh, related to this question, uh, just compare with the first example that we have in the in this particular slide, and then give me answers. Okay. Um, so, um, so those who know the answer, post your answers using your chat box. Uh, post your answers using chat box b0234 kanya okay any the answers b0234 okay divya ramamurthy b0234 okay any the answers okay uh, I would like to explain on this context now. Um, so we have what? We have double Z, double Z, and then uh, triple nine. This is going to be your picture class. So to this picture class, what is the value that I am passing? I am passing the value double zero, and then two three four. So the double zero two three four, which is going to be the input. And then the picture class here that we have here is what double Z and triple nine. This is going to be uh, the picture class that we have over here. So the purpose of Z is what Z stand for zero suppression, and it have to suppress the leading zeros. So as per this input double zero two three four, the leading zeros, leading zeros in the sense whatever the zero that we have at the leftmost in those zeros we used to call it as in leading zeros and then whatever the zeros that we have at the rightmost in we used to call those zeros as trailing zeros okay that's about leading zeros and trailing zeros that's the difference between leading zeros and trailing zeros so here in this example we have two z and three triple nine as a picture class picture field and to this we are passing the value what double zero two three four and after passing this value we have two leading zeros and also we have two double z so the first uh, zero will be suppressed by first z so now we used to have the result as b okay and then the second zero will be suppressed by second z now instead of uh, uh, zero we used to have what b and we have triple nines for the first nine, the two will be passed. So the two will be printed as such. For the second nine, the three will be passed. So the three will be uh, printed as such. And the third nine, the four will be passed. So the four will be printed as such. 
so the here the result is going to be double b two three four so this is going to be the result for this uh, uh, example okay uh, so you have to be very clear that uh, this is it is for to suppress the leading zeros okay so this is going to be um, uh, as how we have used for whole number suppose we are going to use them decimal places uh, there it is going to be different okay um, so these things you have to be very um, uh, and these things you have to be very clear and you have to be keep on practice so make a note of these examples so today i will um, uh, post this presentation um, in your google classroom so kindly uh, open it and then see those examples and then compare compare and see as how it is to work and uh, based on those uh, what based on those uh, thing whatever that you have and just you have to work out you have to take a paper and then you have to take a pen pen or pencil and then you have to write and work out so whenever that you're going to write and work out you will get an idea as how these things are get processed okay and then <laughs> i would like to uh, give one more examples for this okay so the one more example which is going to be um uh, i'm going to use uh, triple z and then double nine and then i'm going to pass triple zero and then double one so i'm going to post the question in your, cha in your chat, chat box now um so the question is going to be the question is going to be so this is a question so you have what double is it triple is it and double nine and then here the input is going to be um triple zero and then double one so for this uh, what is going to be the output so for this what is going to be the output so this example uh, <clears throat> this question is which is similar to the previous one so suppose you have understood the uh, previous uh, example easily you could answer this so what is going to be the answer uh, what is going to be the output so the picture field which consists of triple is it and double nine and then the input that we're going to pass to this picture field is triple zero and double one okay so what is going to be the output uh, so students kindly post your answers in chat box make it fast uh, so so i could explain you these things so the input is going to be triple is it so i have used uh, three is it suppression zero suppression characters and then you have double nines and then to this i'm tossing value triple zero and double one what will happen any answers any answers for this okay uh, i will tell you give you the answers the answers for this question okay so what is the answer for this question ma so you have what triple z uh, is it and double nine and uh, the value that you're going to pass to this triple zero and double one so what is going to be the output um so it's going to be very simple one Is there any guesses? Double B zero double one the V R M Murthy okay. Okay. Then any other answers? Any other answers? Okay. I will explain you now. So what is the picture field that we have? Triple is it and double nine. Uh, what is the um, input that we have? triple zero and double one uh, so here uh, you have to you have to assign for each and every character that you have in the picture field assign one value for each and every um, character that we have in the picture field first we have to move the value okay so for first is it 
the zero will be moved first zero will be moved for is second is it second zero will be moved for third is it third zero will be moved and for uh, the nine we have two nines and we have two ones so the first one moves to the first nine and the second one moves to the second nine okay and after uh, assigning these values um, uh, it used to zero suppress okay the z is for what zero suppress suppression and after zero suppression it used to produce the result the result is going to be uh, three blank spaces and then you will have double one so this is going to be the answer for this question okay so you have three zeros my leading zeros and also you have what three is it so each and every zero will be suppressed by individual is it so the first zero will be suppressed by first is it the second zero will be suppressed by second is it and third will be uh, zero will be suppressed by third is it and then it will produce three blank spaces because we have three zeros each and every zero will be suppressed by corresponding is it character and it will convert it into blank spaces and then to the first nine the one will be passed and the second nine another one will be passed so 11 will be printed as such so it's very simple so this is how it used to work actually okay um i would uh, uh, i would like to give uh, uh, one more question to you i would like to post one more question to you people now the question here is uh, suppose um i am going to use uh, two is it and then i'm going to give, give uh, double nine now this is going to be the picture field picture field is going to be double set and double nine to this the input is going to be um, double zero and then double two okay um, and then what is going to be uh, the answer you have double set and then you have double nine and then i am going to give four input characters double zero and double two so for this what is going to be the output so you could post your answers in chat box so can you make it fast because by working on some simple examples we could get some uh, clear ideas and then we could move to uh, some other examples with some decimal places um so i want answers now so I have posted the questions in a chat box uh, as double Z and double nine, which is going to be input character. Okay. And uh, picture field double Z and double nine. And then input is going to be double zero and double two. Now what will be the output? Uh, uh, students kindly make it fast uh, so that we could uh, um, we could have some explanations over that and then we could move to the next examples so what will be the output for this so post your answers in chat box so whatever may be the answer whether either it's right or wrong it won't be a problem i'll kindly try to work out and post some answers in the chat box because I have to know whether you people are understanding or not. So based on that, I will um, uh, I will change as how I have to um, take these things. Because we have more number of editing characters, and then this is going to be the simplest one. And then uh, uh, the next to this, we have some advanced uh, editing characters. Advanced in the sense we have characters that uh, that seems to be uh, something we have to apply some logics. Um, so Divya Ramamurthy, the answer is going to be B zero and double two, B zero and double two. Okay. Any other answers? Any other answers that you people who know? Uh, so yes, double B and double two. Maya Rithik, yes, it's right. The answers posted by Maya Rithik is correct how the answers posted by my Rithik is right very good uh, my Rithik. the answer is correct uh, now i will give you the answers as how, uh, how it used to work so we have two is it and then what 
um, we have uh, double nine to z and double nine to this i'm passing the value of double zero and double two so we have four positions in the picture field double z and double nine we have four positions and then input we have four positions double zero and double two okay and then the purpose of z is what zero suppression zero suppression in the sense suppose if we have leading zeros that will be suppressed and that will be changed to what blank spaces so that's going to be the work of zero suppression so the first zero first thing that you have to do is you have to assign values or you have to move the values to the picture field okay so the first zero will be moved to first is it and then second zero will be moved to second is it and then you have uh, double two so to the first nine the first two will be moving and to the second nine the second two will be moving so here we have two leading zeros that will be suppressed by two is it so the first zero will be suppressed by first is it and the second zero will be suppressed by second is it so after suppression the first zero will be replaced with blank spaces of the uh, by the first is it character and after suppression the second zero will be suppressed by second is it okay then uh, you will get what second blank space and then the rest 22 will be printed as such okay so you have leading zeros that will be suppressed and then uh, it will be converted into blank space suppose if you have doesn't have any blank, uh, leading zeros and whatever may be the value that have that will be printed as such okay so the answer is correct um, double b and then uh, double two which is going to be the answer okay um so uh, dear students um so already it's time up uh, so with this i would like to uh, stop the presentation and then uh, from the next session uh, we will be moving to the next editing character um, and then um, i will be posting some um, questions in your uh, google classrooms uh, you will have some links and then i will be questioning uh, posting some questions over there um, so uh, click on the link and then it will be asking questions and then you will have some answers um, so by clicking on those link um, you have to uh, answer to those questions so just i'm going to post uh, five questions to you based on the previous classes and today's class i'm going to post some five questions to you uh, just learn those questions and answer appropriately uh, so you have to uh, complete that particular quiz actually uh, which is on website kahoot.it which is on website there you could uh, uh, give some answers okay so i will post the questions and then i will send the link to the whatsapp or you will have it in google classroom so click on the link and then answer to the questions uh, that's it so automatically uh, you will get, get some scores over there okay uh, so these scores are just to um, just for uh, to uh, check out whether you people have understood or not uh, with this course we are not going to uh, desire anything or we are not going to use this course uh, this is going to be uh, just like um, uh, just to evaluate you people just we are going to use this particular test okay so i will post the link of the quiz in your whatsapp and google classroom uh, so you have to complete that uh, particular uh, quiz by uh, today by within uh, 6 pm try to complete it okay um, so already it's time up uh, so with this i would like to uh, stop the presentation um, so students uh, uh, thank you for listening uh, patiently okay thank you